I'm Matthew Armstrong, the ruminant nutritionist for Fane Valley Feeds. Today I'm at a customer's farm. He started milking about 18 months ago. He's milking about 80 cows. Um, today we're going to talk a wee bit of dry cows and the importance of feeding. In my opinion, arguably, the dry period is the most important time for the cow. Um, whenever we're talking about dry cows, body condition score is critical. We're trying to dry cows off in the right body condition score, ideally two and a half to three. And as we can see, the cows up here, cows are looking well, being dried off in the right condition score. Um, it's important not to try and gain or lose condition in the dry period, as it's more efficient to try and get cows to dry off correctly, the right body condition score. Um, whenever we're talking about dry cows, as silage is predominantly high in potassium, it's important to add straw. In this case, this customer is adding about two and a half kilos of straw, basically to dilute the potassium, which is in silage. Um, Fame Valley's dry cow feed has high levels of protein, predominantly coming from soya and rapeseed. Um, the protein is helping to improve colostrum quality and quantity, and also helping the cow to bag up well pre calving this obviously gets her off to a better start, helps the cow to peak at a higher peak, which will hopefully maintain throughout lactation. Uh, the dry cow feed that we supply also has high levels of starch, which improve microbial growth within the rumen, help to break down that fiber. And the ideal feeding rate is about two kilos for the last month pre calving This is try to increase feed intake, as obviously the calve is growing, and the rumen is getting smaller and try to maximize dry matter intake. So whenever the cow calves down, we're trying to get as much intake in there as possible. Also within our dry cow feed, we have ActiSav yeast, acid buff, and saf manin. Saf manin particularly is given good IgG levels, immunoglobulin levels within the colostrum, which improves passive immunity. And uh, the one extra benefit we also have, we have mild chloride in our dry cow feed, which is basically lowering the overall decap of the diet which basically post-calving helps the cow to mobilize calcium herself, which reduces the incidence of milk fever and withheld cleanings. So it's getting the cow off to a better start post-calving. Now we're going to hear a few words from Kevin and his experiences of feeding dry cow primer. Hello, I'm Kevin Gorman. I'm just here to speak about my story and my, from the start of milking 18 months ago. Uh, I had brought in my heifers springing and calved them down, but they hadn't been fed and I had bother with stomachs and cows coming to their milk and even calves not performing the way they should be. It took roughly two to three months for my cows to settle and come to their milk the way they should and get into lactation. But I made inquiries and I picked my Fane Valley uh, Dry Cow Premier and as I've been feeding this year, I calved 46 cows within six weeks and I never lost a calf and my cows all cleaned within five to six hours. The calf done extremely well, healthy calves just performing and going from the come out of the cow. As the cows come into my part of within the second or third milking, they were flying, straight into lactation, no time wasted. Some people tell you if you don't feed a milk cow, you've no milk, if you don't feed a dry cow, you've nothing. If uh, anyone has any queries or questions regarding feeding dry cows or dry cow feed, don't be afraid to give your local feed representative or myself a call on the numbers below. Thank you.